The project's in a little township called Lee. It's a beautiful location. It's got these incredible sea views. You've got Tawhanui Peninsula in the distance. And the site itself is sort of even more off the beaten track. It's in this little right of way that you come to. And at the top of the site, you get the whole reveal of the views. When we chatted to the client, Phil, he told us he actually originally used to surf the Daniels Reef Break in his 20s, and he would look up at the property around the area and think it would be incredible to live in one of these pieces of land. So it turned out to be serendipity. It became clear that he, he really wanted to create a home that was characterful. He wanted to have a home that would be beautiful for living in for his family and also do justice to the site. Because it's such a journey to get to site and then the journey from the top of the site to the cliff and the, the ocean beyond, we wanted the house itself to be full of these little journeys and every space have its own character. We also just wanted to touch the earth as lightly as possible. We set the house on certain pieces of the contours and then in other areas we can to leave the, the house above the land so it's sort of lifted off. As you approach the house there's an informal entry which is the bedroom wing. We've also created a more formal entry which is a far more modest entry and that's to the eastern side. It's got a small window at floor level height that you can see the garden, but you can't really see anything else. And then you're given the option to either move through the house to the living area, the open plan, or to the bedroom wing. And that's how the journey in the home begins. The living space is probably the destination to the journey within the home very much focused on Daniel's Reef, so it almost draws you out into the view. While it's going on behind you, you've got this lovely bookend of a pool that we created, this little blue jewel, and it sits adjacent to the living area. So to make sure that we were maximizing the spaces within the home. The home is itself being around 160 square meters. We needed to do that through a lot of inbuilt furniture and inbuilt cabinetry. So we worked with a company called DBJ. They create uh, beautiful cabinetry and they work with us on this project. The materials we used were very tactile, very warm, and it just creates uh, a really beautiful feeling inside the spaces. So how do you justify a built form on a site as amazing as this? And that was one of the questions we asked ourselves when we came to site. And we definitely felt that weight of the quality of land uh, for the build and for the concept. So it was uh, quite a daunting aspect and something that we considered very carefully. <laughs>